name is Aubrey and I work for the New Media Writing Studio. And today I'm going to show you how you can create your own app with a free online tool, AppMaker. So first go to AppMaker's website at www.appmaker.com and we can get started. I want to tell you first a little bit why I decided to make this tutorial because I think the apps are really awesome and they're kind of underutilized. And since they're so diverse, there are lots of ways to use them. But today, I'm going to focus on how you can use your app to market yourself to a potential employer. Since AppMaker is a free interface, it probably can't do everything you envision for your app. So I recommend you start by making a list of attributes you want your app to have. And then after you explore AppMaker's capabilities, then you can decide what's realistic for your app. Okay, so first you have to create an account. For simplicity's sake, I just linked my Google account with AppMaker. You don't have to do that. Um, you can link it with Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo, too. Um, but I linked it mine with Google. And um, since I've made apps before, I have all of these options. But you can um, click Create a New App. And it'll take you um, to this page where you put in a name for your app. And don't worry if you don't like the name because you can change it later. So this we're calling it test <laughs> go to the next step all right so now it's going to ask you what type of app do you want to build and so there are some pre-designed template templates that you can choose from with like stores real there empty synagogue work group church team small business band they have a bunch of different options um, but for our purposes I'm just going to click empty so that I can show you how to build your own from, from scratch. So I'm going to select this one. Oh no! Oh dear. Yeah, so that's the problem with App Maker. Sometimes it gets really glitchy and then you have to just start over. So since I already made an App Maker tutorial, I am just going to show you what I had planned instead of trying to get that certain function to work since it doesn't appear like it wants to work today. That's why you have to save it literally all the time. Okay, but let's just say that I got it to, you know that's the first time I've gotten an error message in that area, so that's never happened before. But this is the App Maker tutorial that I was working on just to try things out and see what I wanted to show you guys. So we'll just go straight to this one. Um, so if that had worked and it had come up, it would just come up and it wouldn't have any of these icons. It would just be a blank page with gray background um, and no color. So all of these are the common functions and there's um, this pull down menus on the left. So all of these have their own icons in them that you can click on and add to your app. Anyway, so go down to the bottom. Some of the most useful stuff is at the bottom in documents and custom content. So click on that, and it should come up with an HTML page, forms, documents, and quick base. So these first three icons are ones that I use a lot whenever um, I'm making an app for someone else or for myself. They're for students who really, or people, like you don't have to be a student to use this, but they're for someone who really wants to store a lot of information in a small space, like a resume, writing samples, a bio, or really any other information you want to put in, you want to include. Um, I'll just give you a preview once you finish the step one designing your app and like putting everything in there that you want it to contain. We'll go to step two where you can um, pick the icon for your app that shows up on someone's phone, and it also will give you a free QR code that you can print out and put on your business cards. So potential employers can just scan that and immediately get your app, which should basically contain you, which I think is really awesome. Okay, so in order to put a function into the app, you just click on it, and just grab it, and just <laughs> plunk it in the app, and then it's there. And then if you don't like where it is, you can just move it over, move it up or down. You can move it wherever you want. That's really nice. And if you don't like it there, say, oh, I already have docs. I don't want, I don't want another one of those. You can just like put it in the, in the trash and then it'll go away. Another thing that you can do with these is once you have them situated where you want, you can change the title. So if I don't want to say docs, I can say documents 
or anything else. If you can't find a function in all of the stuff that suits you, which I know it looks like there's a lot of stuff on here, and there is, but not all of it works exactly like you might think, like especially the social feed stuff. Sometimes it has a hard time um, connecting to your account that you're trying to uh, link with it and it doesn't really update very well. So if you're having a hard time doing that, you might just want to create your own HTML page, which is what I ended up doing for like the bio. So the HTML page, you can have your own background um, and there's pretty much unlimited options about what you can do. So you can upload video or you can upload images, you can hyperlink things, you can change the font, you can change the color, and if you know how to work with code, you can work with code. I'm not great at code, so I just did a little bit whenever I made my own app. Uh, the HTML page is a lot like an online blog post, so um, I recommend playing it around around with the content and designing the HTML page until you find something you like. And remember, sometimes the way the pages of your app appear on your computer screen is not what it looks like when it's actually functioning in the app. App Maker has two ways of viewing your app in progress. First, you can hit the live preview button, which is right here at the bottom of the screen. And a small window should pop up that shows an interactive display of your uh, model of your app, but sometimes it doesn't work. This is a QR code that you will have at the end. Let's see if it's gonna, gonna work. Doesn't look like it's going to. All right, so I can also send the live preview to my email or I can send it to my phone, which also works. Okay, it's just going to be glitchy today. Oh wait, look, there it is, yay. All right, so now I can see what it looks like. There we go. So this is the documents icon. Here, I put my thesis on here because I was like, why not? Let's see how many, how many, um, how much of a document it can hold. And since my thesis is 96 pages, it seems that um, you can put as many documents on there as you want, as you would possibly need, and it will still be able to upload them. And then in forms, you can have so many. You can build a form on Wufu, or you can have any other sort of form that you want. And then the About Me is like a bio sort of thing. But anyway, so this is what it, how it would function if it were on your phone. So it's nice to know, like there's nothing in the About Me right now besides the background that I chose. Um, but it's nice to kind of see where that uh, lays on the screen and kind of know how that might look. The document page, like I said, can be incredibly helpful and if you can store various documents within the page kind of like a mobile file cabinet. So it's a good idea to know how this sort of stuff works. So if you want to add more documents, you can um, click on the document icon and then just say add edit files. I can choose a file from my computer, which I have lots and lots and lots of documents from <laughs> my computer. So I can choose any of those files and then I can um, title them whatever I want. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same title that your file is titled inside your computer. And then um, I can add a short description. And then you can click here to add another file. Make sure that you always save whenever you close um, any window because AppMaker is notorious for just quitting and losing your work. So you have to be obsessive about saving it. Next, I'm going to talk a little bit about design because there are several really easy ways to spruce up your app. First, uh, look at the buttons at the left-hand corner of the screen and click the picture button right here. And it'll bring up a pop-up menu where you can choose your home screen background image. There's also an option for you to make a splash screen for your app, which is, um, I didn't know what a splash screen was until I took a course about how to make apps, but that's the image that flashes across the screen when you very first open an app. Um, but sometimes app maker splash screens have issues, so unless you really, really want a splash screen, I'd use my time designing the home page and playing around with the different icon choices. So when you click on the background home screen, this um, right here, uh, you can choose from the different app maker backgrounds or upload images in this uh, section right here from your computer or from another online source like Facebook, Instagram, or Flickr. Once you find a background you like, 
just select it and then you can move the icons around until they're where you want them. So I'm just going to click on textures because textures, there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. Sometimes it's not necessarily great for the background of an app, but I still think it's cool. I'm just going to say this woodsy one. Let's see what that looks like. That was kind of boring. Yeah. Let's try a different one. Hmm. What about this one? Hmm. Well, we can play around with that later. Anyway, make sure you save your app after you make these changes or else if the app crashes or your computer crashes, you're probably going to lose your changes. Um, so once you find a background you like, select it and then you can move the icons around and make sure you save your app. And if you decide you want to change the menu and icon style of your app, just uh, click the button in the middle that has three horizontal lines or across it. So this thing right here. So say that the background on my app doesn't really work well with this diagonal thing that I've gotten going. I can change it to the side or I can leave it. I thought I deleted you. Yes, go away. Um, or you can also put it on the side right here so it'll disappear after, um, if I'm not, if none of these are selected, it'll disappear. Um, or I can just put it on the side right here. For this one, it's really for um, apps that are really important that you see the home screen. Like I created an app um, for kids in the hospital who needed music lessons. And it was a free um, nonprofit organization who um, had professional music teachers who taught lessons to these kids in the hospital. And I thought it was really important that um, they see one of the kids who had benefited from this. So I made the um, background a kid playing violin and this cut his face in half so I was like that's not good so I ended up going with this option so you could see most of his face but it really just depends on what image you want to use in the background okay so after you change the menu and icon style you can change it back if you don't like it later so that's okay so after you decide what you want to go in your docs your forms and your about me Go to step two, and you can, it's going to play this video for you. No matter what you do, it's going to play this video for you. All right, so this is where you can change your app title again, and this is also where you can choose your web address. It's always going to have something to do with App Maker in it, but as long as you don't mind, it works. And then you'll choose your web app domain, and then it's fine with me. And then you can change change your uh, current icon for your app. This is one of the coolest functions in my opinion because it really sets your app apart from all the other apps because you can have like your signature as your icon or you can have your initials as your icon. You can even have your face, a picture of your face as your icon. So you can either choose from their free library or import your own image. You just have to make sure that it's the right dimensions for uh, the icon. But I love that function. I think it's great. After you follow the 13 steps that AppMaker has, you can publish your app. Um, just make sure you select the free option since there are other versions that require you to spend money, but um, you really don't have to do that. You might have to do a little bit of searching to find the free option, but it's definitely there. They just want you to buy something, um, but you don't have to. You can still get your app just like it is without buying anything. So um, after you publish your app, you can print your app's QR code on your business cards and potential employers can easily download your resume, writing samples, and bio. I think that um, this is a, even though AppMaker is really glitchy sometimes, I think it's a great free and very easy way to get yourself out there and basically have yourself contained inside a QR code, which I think is amazing. So if you have any questions, just swing by the New Media Writing Studio in Scarborough on the second floor, and we'd love to help you. But um, I'm just so excited that I got to show you how to make an app, and hopefully it will really help you in your search for a job or your time here as a student, and I wish you the best.